Hi guys, my name is Chris and in this video I will be installing Ubuntu in a virtual machine using VirtualBox. I will also install the guest additions to the virtual machine, which optimizes its performance and gives it additional features such as the clipboard sharing feature, which enables us to copy data from our virtual machine to the host machine and from the host machine to the virtual machine. That is really useful in many situations, so let's just get started and set up the environment. First we open up a browser and go to virtualbox.org. In here we press download. And for me, I press uh, OS, X hosts. You can choose Windows if you want, or Linux. And then we wait for this to download and we download the software. As you can see, I've downloaded VirtualBox. So now we need to download the Ubuntu image and for that we go to release.ubuntu.com and here you will see different versions of Ubuntu but we will go with the Bionic Beaver and in here you have two options server install and desktop image and we are going to choose desktop image. So I've successfully downloaded the Ubuntu image and I've dragged that down to my desktop. So now I'm going to press new to create a new virtual machine in VirtualBox and I'm going to name this Ubuntu 18.40 and as you can see VirtualBox finds the version automatically. I will press continue. I will give it a little more memory size. Increase it to 6000 megabytes. Press continue. I will select create a virtual hard disk now. I will select VDI virtual box disk image and I want to check dynamically allocated because that will make sure that the files you use for the VM will scale up and down automatically depending on how much uh, use there will be for it so that's really efficient to have that checked and here I'm just going to go with this settings and now we have the virtual machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I will go into settings before I start it up. Go into storage, press on the empty disk and on the little disk icon at the right. And then press choose to create a virtual optical disk. And I will add, find my desktop and the image. Press open, choose, and OK. I will go back into settings and I would go into system, into processor, and actually provide it with all my eight CPUs. And I do that because I want to have a smooth virtual machine and it won't necessarily use all of your processor if it's not needed it's only if your virtual machine will be running really hot with some large programs that it will use it. so I will also before I boot it up I would like to go into display and give it 128 megabytes of video memory and then I can press start as you can see I am prompted with this error that says kernel driver not installed. The problem here is that we have to configure Mac specifically to be able to run this. So to do so I will go into system preferences into secure, security and privacy and into general and I have to press allow down here. If I try it again we see that we are able to open it up. And I will adjust the video settings by going in view, virtual screen and put it on scale up to 200%. And now we are slowly booting up Ubuntu. From here, I will press English and install Ubuntu. I will just go with the default keyboard layout. That's okay if that's fine with me. 
I will select normal installation and download updates while installing Ubuntu. Press continue. And check that it is selected, that it will erase the disk and install Ubuntu, that's fine. And press continue. It will select the region and I'm from Copenhagen, so that's, that's just about right. And then you have to select your name. I'll say Chris and the password. And then it will start off by downloading and copying files to the virtual machine. So now that the installation is succeeded, we have to press restart now. Now that I've restarted the machine, I log in. And here we are on our new Ubuntu machine. So the next thing we'll do is that we will uh, add the guest editions. So we do that by going into devices and press insert guest edition CDs image. And we press run, provided with our password to the authenticate and then we'll get started installing. When it's done, you just press return and from here you will open up a terminal and type in sudo apt get, sorry, get update and your password and enter. Now when that now when that's done, you will say sudo apg get install yi gcc make Perl and it will start working. Now we can close the window and we can close down the updated software and right click press open and then run software and press run provide it with your password and authenticate when that's done press enter to get this to work we will have to restart our machine so restart we log in so after the restart I will go into devices go into shared clipboard and here I can choose to enable host to guest guest to host and bi-directional I will press bi-directional I will open up a terminal in my local machine and just type in testing. I will copy the text. I will open up a terminal in my Ubuntu machine and press paste and as you can see it pastes testing. And if we type testing back and copy that we see that we are able to paste that on our local machine just like that that's it for this video guys thank you very much for watching i hope i was able to help you set up ubuntu in a virtual machine on your operating system if not please leave a comment below and i will reach out to you as soon as possible to help out 
If you liked the video, please leave a like below and consider hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Thank you very much for watching guys and see you soon in a future video.